Larry Lightfoot says there will not be an increase in property taxes next year. Well, that, of course, music to the ears of Chicagoans, even though critics say it is a political gimmick with the upcoming mayoral election next year. We get more now from WGN's Christine Flores. Well, property taxes were set to rise along with a consumer price index. While the mayor is calling the hold good news, others are simply calling it a political stunt. On Thursday, Mayor Lightfoot announced homeowners in Chicago won't have to face another property tax increase, citing city revenue exceeded City Hall's estimates. In a statement, the mayor said, quote, as our city continues to rebound from the pandemic, our revenues continue to improve, helping us close the gap. The mayor says that gap in the 2023 budget is among the lowest in recent history at $128 million. She went on to say, quote, this one-time relief keeps our city on the course we've set in previous budgets, protecting taxpayers, keeping our promises to workers' pensions, and making historic investments in public safety, mental health, and public health in general. $877 million in increased property taxes really the last four years during her administration, and now, of course, facing uh, a looming budget deficit post-election, which by her own projections could be as great or greater than a billion dollars. It's just financial mismanagement. While critics frown upon the sudden move, some applaud her for listening to constituents. I am happy that the mayor has finally come to her senses and is finally listening to the people of Chicago uh, when they say that they're hurting uh, and they cannot take more taxes right now. Obviously, this is being done uh, in and around election season, so those of us who are looking at this in a logical way believe that uh, this is an election year stunt. Well, the mayor is expected to detail this property tax hold on Monday when she presents it to the committee. For now, reporting from City Hall, Christine Flores, WGN News.